Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Amuse Jester. My name is Junior. Let's take a look at Action Toys Mini Action Series 09 Vehicle Force Voltron. I showed you guys in the unboxing of my loot from Big Bad Toy Store, which is where I got this from. Uh, the box from this one. Um, stick around after this very first initial review because afterwards is the unboxing and then the quick uh, unboxing and then the most importantly, when I put it together, that's going to be in uh, in sped up mode because it takes a bit. This thing is immensely detailed. The amount of figures that is included, it is the 15 vehicles. You can form the three separate major vehicles before you form Voltron. This is an amazing toy for the price. Um, it is plastic. It's all plastic. It's very lightweight. So you're not going to be afraid of breaking stuff on this thing. Honestly, this is more durable than the Chogokin, Solo Chogokin line. Um, because that's got die cast. It's very heavy and a lot of breakable stuff. This is, you're not going to be afraid of breaking stuff here. Except for the pegs, maybe. Except for the pegs. Because even these, well, okay. Even these propellers from the plane or helicopter... Um, there, it's like, it's, it's pegged up, it's pegged up, you know, it's, and it's sturdy enough and small enough. You're not going to break it. Maybe this one, but, um, where you inject it, it's not, it's not easily breakable. Um, so let's get away with, let's talk about the bad thing first, right? Because this thing is so small, the way it pegs up, I'm not sure if, the, if I'm doing it correct, correctly, but as you can see, the, the, this has come off already. Um, it might be because I'm not pushing it far enough. But because it's how it's connected, sometimes this falls over. So you just got to make sure you line it up. And when you do, just kind of squeeze a little bit. These are This is probably the weakest points, the connection of this toy. Um, because, you, because of the fact that it does... See, that's the part of the ankle rotation already. It does... Uh, the main connection point does have an art, uh, an ankle uh, connection or uh, sideways, but because of that small thing, it, it's possible that you might pull it off. But um, uh, anyway, that's the only thing that I can think of that's bad is the connection point. Sometimes it might be figly, like this one right here. Let me show you. Oops. Oh, look at that. That <laughs> that came off, but it's not broken. Um, the other thing. That might be weird is the connection port on this one because as you're connecting it, this one is this really quick. And just plug it in again. Like, see, it's not and like you you might be thinking, oh man, that's like really bad. But it's not really because the fact that you can just plug it in and see that sometimes, okay, that's connected enough already. Okay. Anyway, that's the only thing. But the level of articulation of this guy, look, it has an up and down like this. Um, on the shoulders um, has a little bit of butterfly because of how this thing is connected um, up and down all the way does it have it has ha if it has a bicep cut over there um, the range of the hands is that's it but that's because of the limitation of the sculpt look look at how much <laughs> waste or the bend on the abdomen it has because of how much of how this thing is connected. Then obviously it has a twist. The head, look at this guy. Stick around for how I built this together. And you, because as I was trying, and I'm sorry, I had to speed it up because it's a little bit fast. Maybe I won't speed it up. You know what? I won't speed it up. You, you guys will have to stick around for the full 30, 20 minutes to put it together because I feel like the stuff that I learned from there was kind of important. Um, like this, you can only plug it in on this side. These things over here will only plug in one way, one side only. And then, uh, let's see, uh, I'll just show you that one. Look, look, this thing pulls off a little bit. So it has a little bit of movement like that. And I twist around like so. Um, this one... Um, while I was attaching this, um, you'll notice that it kept on falling off. The trick is, when you put this in, make sure you put it... 
now it's like completely in there like like night now it's like solidly in there but before it was fiddly because i was plugging it in straight like that and it wasn't when you when you twist it off to the side here this connection and you plug it in it plugs in much more securely so that there's no gap between the red and the black part let me pull this off the camera Okay, to further demonstrate that, when I was plugging it in this way, which is how this vehicle comes in, I couldn't plug it in properly. See, it's just not doing it, not locking in. And you'll see a gap in between, and that basically means it's going to fall off because it's not completely plugged in yet. So plug it in so slowly right now so you can just rotate it like that, and then this will allow you to see, hear that click. Now there's no gap. Now, that thing is not going to fall off now right um the other thing too look at this did so it has obviously that it has that range um it does move forward look at that <laughs> whoa look at that dude <laughs> i kick unbelievable the range of movement on this guy is unfreaking believable and as i was combining it all these small things that kept um, revealing itself on how much of um, see so yeah, this thing this is the only thing man but once you get it plugged in there there it's pretty secure but yeah man the amount of movement you're getting on this guy the, obviously this is not gonna be going up and down on the ankle because you know you can't you, there's just no way um but it does have ankle rockers over there so you can spread them around the amount of articulation range in this guy is just so freaking amazing i cannot believe it how much was this on the bad to like like maybe like 50 60 bucks maybe 80 bucks um right now on the second high market i guarantee you when i started buying when i was catching up on this line it was like maybe like 80 bucks 90 bucks but uh there's no die cast so it's very light but compared to a solo chugokin which is the cheapest one you're probably going to get for a solo chugokin right now is 120 dollars uh, it does have die cast but the amount of articulation range on this one beats it beats it completely unless you're betting getting the um the super robot line which has a greater range of uh, articulation Chugokin. this is just amazing amazing guys the worth i like i really i've been trying to track down every single uh item that action toys from the mini series uh, mini action series line um but I, I so this is zero nine uh and i have five of them i have this is the one that got me to it volt is five dude Look, they're, they're the same scale. No, you know what? The first one was Combatler, I believe. I believe this is guy is 01. And when I got him, I'm like, oh my God, I hope they do Voltus 5. Because Voltus 5, as a Filipino, my main guy. My main guy. And then they did Daimos. Oh my God, Daimos. Like, Solo Chogokin doesn't even, has a Daimos, but it's like, uh, it's almost a scale too. Daimos is supposed to be like that small. Uh, and then this guy... I don't know who he is. I'm not very familiar with him. If you guys know who he is, he this guy transforms exactly like th this is the only thing. Some some of the parts is really fiddly because it's so freaking small, man. Let me put this guy properly. This guy, his antlers are always so fiddly, and this guy is the most vulnerable to being pulled apart and everything because he he's so complicated. Um, but uh, the range of movement, same, still the same. Um, but yeah, guys, if you can if you can find this, if you guys are a fan of these characters. Oh my god, there is no better value, better line than action series right now. 
um, or action toys. I, I kid you not. There's another one that does mini action toys, but it's not from action series or it's not from action toys. Um, so you got to be careful. Uh, the ones that I have for that one does have the Lion Force. I believe it's a bigger scale and more of a model. I have three of them uh, that I haven't even opened up. When I found out it's a different company and it might be a different toy. I've done YouTube. I've been following YouTube reviews on this one, so I know it's different. It's also um, numbered differently. So there's only nine of them so far because this is zero nine. And I only have five, so there's four more I'm missing. And I, I got to track it down. I can't remember which ones they are. But I'm pretty sure the Lion Force from Voltron is not from this company. I'm pretty sure it's bigger. But um, it does come with these hands. And I still don't know what this hand is for. Why does it have this? Because they, it only comes with a sword as an, uh, as an accessory. Um, but it does have splayed out hands. Uh, it's got, the, um, uh, as you saw, as you'll see from my uh, um, putting it together, that it does come with a closed fist completely. Um, these are the extra parts that it's not a complete, complete closed system for uh, transformation. So you're going to be have, left with all these parts over here. So you, you, you're going to need mini bags for this. But... I don't care, man. For the size of this thing, oh, you might be wondering how how tall this is. I'm sorry, I don't have any uh, rulers on me, but this is as best I can do. Let me line him up properly because I need to raise him just a little bit higher, like that. So he's they all stand at around six inches, as you can see, slightly, slightly above six, six inches. Um, and Dimos is the smaller of the of the lot. He is the almost tallest one, except for maybe Combatler, which has the the yellow antenna that makes him slightly taller. But he's the tallest of the bunch. Man, he's about the same size as Voltus Five. But man, this is an amazing line. Um, if you're a fan of Voltron, the Vehicle Force, get this. Um, that way, you'll be introduced to an excellent line of toys. You're gonna have to spend a lot of money. To get this on the second market, second hand or reseller market, because there initially this was fifty bucks. They were, you're not gonna be able to get fifty bucks on this Volta, Voltus Five anymore. I believe the lowest you can get for him is like maybe eighty-five to a hundred. Um, this is an amazing line, though, amazing, amazing line. So that's it for my review on this one. It definitely must get. Stay tuned as I unbox it. Stay tuned as I put it together. Um, maybe I'll speed it up only by 50% so you, you won't miss it anything on the detail um, like I said amazing line definitely worth well worth getting it uh, I hope you stick out to the end of the video and I'll see you guys soon this is the series mini action 09 if you want to look it up be careful because when I do google these things um, I do mini action series and other uh, toy companies pop up um, it's got to be a combination of action toys and mini action toys so make sure you get the right um, scale and everything but uh, yeah so this is 09 so I think I have seven of them I have Combatler, Voltus 5 I have Dimos I have the Lion thing um this one's the fifth, so I, there's four that I'm missing then. Anyway, um, were you guys curious when I did the unboxing what this is all about? Um, you might not be familiar with this Voltron, the vehicle force, but you might not be familiar with this particular tour line. So let me show you, this box is pretty cool. It's very reminiscent of all the uh, boxes that we get from Japanese toys. This is not a Japanese company, it's a Hong Kong company, a Chinese company, um, but it's also marketed for... Um, English speaking ones because there's not there's not a lot of um, Chinese characters or Japanese characters I only point that out because if you notice the box style is really nice like I said very reminiscent of Japanese toys where you see the really nice colorful packaging of the toys and pose and everything it has nothing to do with cartoons 
or um, any cartoon images or depictions or anything like that. Volcon Ultron Vehicle Force and everything. So yeah, very nice packaging. It's it's a flimsy box, but for guys who might want to collect these things, it basically does the job. It's really nice to look at and everything, but uh, and all that stuff. So let me unbox it really quick, uh, uh, and I'll do a speed run. Um, just so you guys can see what to expect when you open these up and how it looks.